Well, giraffes are just in incredible animals. I mean, they're so iconic. They're one of the few species that almost everybody anywhere in the world immediately recognises a giraffe. And so the, the, the fact that they're so recognisable, they're so unlike any other mammal, it does make it especially interesting that, that now we're really getting to grips with, with what the different types of giraffe are. We've always known that they look very different and they live in different areas, the different populations. But now this new genetics work adds to that to really give us an insight into perhaps the fact that they're different species and not what we thought was one was actually maybe four different species and that's and that's incredible when you think of a mammal that that should be so well known because it's it's so recognizable and and so iconic We see differences in different populations and, and I guess recognising that some of those populations are, are so different that, that they're really at the species level, that's, that's almost showing a degree of isolation, perhaps things that have been isolated for half or one and a half million years, there's, there's huge times of isolation. Understanding that, that they look different is that just a start, now understanding there's real genetic differences helps us perhaps to understand that there may well be big differences in mating behaviour, in breeding patterns, and those of course are critical to conserving a species and really important to understanding how threats might impact upon it and, and how we can try and reduce them and, and save species from extinction.